Hey, Vital MT beers. Thanks for tuning in to our YT Jeffsy Core 3 bike review. When YT launched the revised Jeffsy platform in 2019, we were on hand for a first ride report from their press camp. Since then, we've tested the $2,399 Jeffsy 29 base model, and again, found it to be a standout performer, especially for the price. When YT released their latest Jeffsy core offerings earlier this year, that core label had us grinning. We have the test pilot who is the very type of rider that YT's marketing efforts embrace. Young, eager to hit massive jumps without much regard for personal safety or equipment, Logan Brown is not the typical product reviewer and would be the perfect punisher to test out just how core this Jeffsy actually is. YT sent us a Jeffsy Core 329er to review and we eagerly lined up Logan as the pilot. Once it arrived, we turned over the still sealed box and Logan went on his way, just as any YT customer would find themselves. Initially, Logan was a bit sad to have a 29er. He figured the 27 5 inch version would be easier to whip, flick, and 360, but as it turns out, wheel size was not an issue. Let's dig into how this 150mm 29er performed on the trail, at the jump park, and under the abuse of some lift serve laps. For 2021, YT left the Jeffsy alone, only updating the colors and the lineup. Moving to a simpler core nomenclature, there are only three trim offerings. The Core 2 is the starting point at $2,999. Riders will get the same alloy frame as the prior base model, which follows identical geometry as the carbon frames. It merits a mention this is the only Jeffsy model offered with a 27.5 inch wheeled option. A SRAM NX drivetrain and Fox performance level suspension take care of the big stuff, while DT Swiss M1900 wheels and Maxxis Minion DHR2 tires round things out. Next up is our test bike, the Jeffsy Core 3, with its carbon frame. 150 mils of squish is handled by a Fox 36 Performance Elite fork and Fox DPX Performance Elite rear shock. SRAM's venerable 12-speed GX Eagle drivetrain takes over shifting duties and rounds out a kit that should be both durable and still easy-ish on the wallet at $4,199. YT's big dog Jeffsy, the Core 4, gives riders Fox factory versions of the 36 fork and DPX2 shock with a bump up to SRAM's X01 Eagle drivetrain. The wheels also get a bit nicer with DT Swiss XM1700s and a star ratchet hub. Those upgrades come at a price, however, so Core 4 will set a rider back $5,199 US dollars. We really took a shine to the Jeffsy Base 29 last year and felt like we had a read on it. Not wanting to go full baller with the Core, we opted for the $4,199 Core 3 build this time. Every part on this bike should be up to some very heavy use, with no excuses. The Jeffsy came right out of the box ready to ride. We slapped on the bars and wheels and it was good to go. This is what we'd expect with YT being a direct-to-consumer brand. We cut down the stock 780 mil bars, 10 mils on each side, just to make it a bit more nimble. And on the jump lines and flow trails, we rode the YT stiff to get more pop out of the travel. We were under the 30% sag recommendation, getting our preferred feel in the range that was closer to 20%. The flip chip was set in a low or slack position, and that put our reach on our large 470 millimeters, an effective seat tube angle of 77 degrees, head angle hits 66 degrees, and chainstay length is 435 millimeters for sizes small through large, stretching out to 440 mils on XL and double XL sizes. With the bars cut a little bit, the cockpit on the YT felt right at home. This is a super solid bike in which one should feel comfy doing big drops and hucks. The handlebar setup is clean and SRAM's matchmaker system kept the YT Postman dropper lever and GX shifter neatly tucked away. With the seat post extended and a 77 degree seat angle, the bike is ready for the climbs. Rider position may be a bit more over the front with that 50 mil stem, but not so much that traction suffered on the steeps. When the 150 mil postman dropper is slammed, the seat sits quite low, making it nice for over the seat tricks and getting weight over the back wheel on steep descents. Other than making sure the flip chip was in low and a slight shave of the handlebars, the Jeffsy Core 3 was pretty close to perfect out of the box. Our Jeffsy saw all kinds of action during testing. Of course, we took it out to the foothills for plenty of trail riding, but we also had some sessions at the jump park, as well as some lift serve downhill laps. Over the past months, it became our do-everything bike. The Jeffsy is nimble and lively on the trail. 
Tester had an affinity for 27.5s and the Jeffsies feel of being a bit more on top of the bike rather than submerged in the bike brought to light just how playful wagon wheels can be. After experimenting with a few different configurations, the Jeffsy core suited our jump and bike park riding preference with a firmer suspension setup. And set up in the 30% range, the bike soaked up the small and mid-sized trail hits quite well. That said, we preferred the stiffer settings to embrace the Jeffsy's more aggressive nature while providing that extra pop for jibs and jumps. The Fox DPX2 is a reliable performer for most trail bikes. We did find that speeding up the rebound gave the rear end a more lively feel and helped propel the bike when blasting shark fin booters and hopping out of corners. Despite our firm settings, the bike still kept its composure under braking and blitzing through the chatter. Pedaling the Jeff C uphill is an easy task. The balance rider position was fantastic, and when we got to really steep sections, the rear tire maintained its grip and the bike just motored up the grade. We never felt the front end wander and appreciated that trail intent of the bike's nature. If there was a standout characteristic of the Jeffsy, it would be fun. Downhills are always the best part of the ride and this bike just takes it to a new level. We found that in areas with steep jumps, the Jeffsy core carried speed and was still able to get loose, throwing it sideways and even spinning 360s. Although it took a little while to find that balance point, once we did, the Jeffsy could manual for days. We felt the Jeffsy handled both chunky sections and fast flowy trails equally well. The 29er ate everything we put in front of it. Throughout the duration of our test, the build spec on our bike was fantastic. SRAM's GX Eagle drivetrain is a strong performer and it worked awesomely. We did explode the rear derailleur on a rock, but that was our fault, not SRAM's. After a new hanger and derailleur, we were back on the trail with no more issues. Our favorite component of the Jeffsy Core 3 would be the Fox 36 Performance Elite Fork. It was plenty stout for our abuse and gave us the adjustability we needed. Whether it was downhill laps at the gravity park or boosting steep jump lips, the Fox Fork did its job well. SRAM's G2R brakes felt solid out of the box, and even on longer descents, they held their own. After a few weeks of riding, however, the rear brake got a little spongy, so we did a quick bleed, and it firmed right back up without a flinch throughout the rest of the test. The only weak piece of spec on this bike was the DT Swiss rear hub with its three paw engagement. In sprints or powering out of corners, slapping gears, we noticed a delay and a slam before driving forward. Because the Jeffsy is such a charger on the downhill, something small like this really stood out to us when we had to put the power down. The M1900 rims, however, they stayed strong and true regardless of endless attempts to ruin them with berm slaps and sideways landings. It was a little ironic, however, that the only thing to show immediate wear was the frame protection. The clear protective kit that YT includes started to peel off fairly quickly. We know this is stuff that's supposed to protect the paint, but it has to stay on the bike to do that, right? Riders will want to get their own protective kit straight away. So what's the bottom line? After a couple months of some very hard riding, the YT Jeffsy Core held its own and lived up to its name. And once again, we were impressed with the versatility of this 150 mil travel 29er. With only some peeling stickers to show for it, it seems the Jeffsy is up for the carefree nature of its target demographic. Should they become available again, who knows how long that'll be, we would definitely give the YT Jeffsy Core 3 two thumbs up. We have nearly 150 bike and component reviews on our channel, not to mention over 200 vital raw mountain bike action videos, so don't miss out. We'll see you on the trails.